Hey guys, it's Limit Breaker here, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now, in the last video, we had just gotten enrolled into the Naranja Academy, and we got a personal home visit by the headmaster of the school. We also met another friendly face named Naroma with a champion po champion uh, trainer rank, and uh, we just got in our first part of Pokemon, which is Quaxly here, and we we actually did this to Quaxly, which is pretty nice in and of itself. So in today's video, we can hopefully we can get to the Naranja Academy to see what it is about. Before we do that, guys, if you do like the, if you do enjoy the content like the one you see here, please do leave a like, a little, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as it does help us both a lot. As you'll be getting uh, updates from my uh, channel and updates on my content. And you know, the like on the video shows me that you do love the content I do create, and hopefully that will create more videos like this. And as always, let's get this and then and let's get this started, shall we? Now, the first thing is we have to do is follow Naroma. Oh, Limit Breaker. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. Yep. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. And I read all about those wonderful teachers you'll be you're having looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. I didn't your new friend Pneumonia, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. Also pack your lunch for your first day. You obtain the sandwich from mom. You put the sandwich from mom in your bag to key items pocket. Sandwich. A dish made by sandwich sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out of a picnic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we all know what a sandwich is. Oh, and maybe you wanna and maybe you better take these two. Five potions. Oh, five more. Uh, you put the potions in your bag's medicine. Also, we did find two potions in the last video, so now this counts at seven. Use them on that precious little Pokemon of yours, should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times too. If you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Yep, always. Oh, alright then. You two have better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Your mother's so nice, Limit Breaker. Oh, Bob was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos. <laughs> All right then. I guess we better follow her lead. This way. Oh, I almost didn't see her there. So yeah, I did also notice a couple of things shortly after um, recording this. Like you can slide with the B button and the longer you hold it, the longer you slide and then you head into a crouch position. You can also take cameras by holding the down pad, down on the down pad. Um, and you can emote using the up on the D pad. All right, this here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads to adventures for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path in grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. You got Quaxly for that, right? Yep. And if you wanna try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use, yep, a good old Pokeball. I've got tons, I have a few. You put the poke. You got pokeballs. You put the pokeballs in your bags. Pokeball pocket. Mhm. Mm As a pokeball, a device for catching one Pokemon is thrown like a ball at a Pokemon, comfortably encapsulating its target. Uh, oh, what luck! Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Leechunk Limit Breaker. I have never heard of that name before. Probably a new Pokemon. Probably a new Pokemon. 
You can try and catch a wild Pokemon you are battling by pressing the X button and throwing a Pokeball. When you're having a hard time catching a Pokemon, try to deal damage before throwing another Pokeball. This should give you a better chance of success. We already know how to play it, but let's check. And I like how like the little like the little catching thing is the catching animation is a bit faster. Like the whole shaking mechanism is a bit faster. Lee Chunk's data has been added to the Pokedex. Lee Chunk, it search it searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. Huh. Would you like to give Lee Chunk a name? Ah, eh, no. I don't, have an, I don't have a name at the moment. I think Chunk has been added to your party. Bye. <laughs> Haha, that was awesome. You got the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crawling when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you, maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, here's some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Yep, you put the Pokeball in your pocket. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. And let's meet up back at the lighthouse over there. You can see our score from the top. You know. Oh, yeah. The building next to it, I was about to say. If, if, if that's the lighthouse itself, uh... <laughs> okay. When the, po the Pokemon you see wandering around in tall glass caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking towards a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it using the ZR button. Try this tactic out. It's about Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. Uh, Lechonk here. Head to the lighthouse. Uh. Oh, I see another Pokeball here. Yeah, you mean like this? Hmm. Oops. I don't think I did it right. I'm pretty sure that's a Pokemon right above there. Oh, do I have to aim first? Do I have to aim? Oh yeah, I do have to aim. Oh, okay. So, using the ZL button, which is what I have on my um, Pro Controller right now, is to aim. Got it. I'm gonna use Growl just to lower its uh, attack. Actually, let me just use a Pokeball to try and catch it. Now, as far as completing the Pokedex in the future, I don't think that will happen considering I'm not a far-fetched go-getter. So that way, I don't feel the need to try and get any Pokedex whatsoever. What is that? Tar Tarantula. Oh, okay. But Tarantula's data has been added to the Pokedex. Okay. Um, the ball of threads wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the sights of Scyther. This, po this Pokemon's natural enemy. Oh, uh, would you like to give Tarantula a name? No. Tarantula has been added to your party. Nice. New Pokemon has been. Oh. Why did it show so many books? Eh. Whatever. Really, this is nice though. Oh, more Pokemon for me to catch. What is that? Uh. Okay. So we got ourselves a 
top it, and I'm pretty sure from the looks of it, it's gotta be a grass type, right? Let me try catch it here. Can I know, like, there's a chance that you may not catch it? But I'm just trying to collect as much as I can and get some XP out of it. Oh, so Quackslot got up to level 7. Nice. Hoppip. Hoppip Sata has been added to the Pokedex. This Pokemon is blown across vast distances by the wind. It is unclear whether the Hoppip is Paldea. Hoppip or Paldea? I'm sorry. Let me read that over. This Pokemon is blown across vast distances by the wind. It is unclear whether the Hoppip of Paldea originally came from. Hmm. Hoppip of Paldea. Was, this, was it from another region that I don't know about? I haven't been really into Pokemon that much, so I don't know. I'm not gonna give Hoppip a nickname. But I'm assuming, like, the new, more Pokemons we collect, the more... Uh, oh, there's an item there. The more information we can get on it. And I'm assuming we can research it somehow. Oh, revive. Oh, I didn't even get to read it, but basically it helps you heal your Pokemon when fainted, basically. Which is kind of nice. Spray... That can be used for poison. A fletchling, right? If I can remember correctly. Yep. Fletchling, so gotta catch that. I'm just collecting every I'm just collecting every Pokemon I see at this point. At least one of each. Uh, this Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. Okay. Alright then. Uh, set. What is that? I don't... Oh, I wasn't even aiming at it. I... I wasn't even aiming at it. But then again, it wouldn't let me aim at it. So I just go walk towards it. A scatterbug. I feel like, why why can I not remember some of these Pokemon's names? I know the, some of the Paldea ones are new. There's new Paldea ones and some returning, but... Why do I have a feeling that... I just can't remember most of these Pokemon. Honestly though, we're gonna have to... Honestly though, despite that, we're gonna have to work up our team. Uh, Scatterbug. Uh, any poison this Pokemon takes is... It in... Ah, my goodness. Any Pokemon... Po any poison this Pokemon takes in is converted into black powder and secreted. That's why Scatterbug can eat poisonous leaves and roots. Uh, so it, like, stores poison. Nice. Um, okay. I do see another item, so I'm gonna quickly go for that. What was it? I just saw it, like, a moment ago. Ah, there it is. Oh, another potion. Nice. So we're gonna track on our way up to up. Oh, why? Oh, it's a cutscene. Hey, limit breaker! You're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Oh, I, I, I read that wrong. Oops. Let me see. So far, you've caught. Oh my. What the? Whoa, what was that? Hmm? I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could it be a strong, strong Pokemon or something? I, I keep reading these sentences wrong. My bad, guys. 
I see we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Limit Breaker. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your road on phone can help you keep safe. Can keep you safe, but watch your step by these clips anyway. Find the source of the mysterious cry. I'm assuming we have to go down here and check. I believe we can't go straight then. Wait, wasn't this the area where Coradion fell? Yep, that's the area. I cannot. I, 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 it somehow frustrates me that I don't remember the two dog Pokemon. Like, I know what it, I know its name, it's just, I can't remember it. It frustrates me to all being. Oh my. Caradion, oh no. There I go. <laughs> well, I fell. Oh, wait, thank goodness my Rodon phone saved me. My Rodon phone saved me from that fall. Where did the two Pokemon go inside the cave? Let me check here. You should go see if that Pokemon is alright. Yep. Gotta check. That's the only thing I can do right now, I'm guessing. Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up? Well, I do have my potions. Actually... Hmm. I could use... my potions if I could. Or revive. Let's try it. It doesn't seem to dial their trick. Maybe try something else. Well, automatically it's picking my sandwich, but I want to see if I can, like, revive it with, like, a potion or something. Ah. I guess the only thing I can do is give it my sandwich, I guess. Hmm. Oh, well. better now. Nice. Hmm. Seems like something in that cave. Should I follow? I think it... Uh, something tells me I should follow it. My instincts, my instincts are just telling me to follow it. in that cave. What the heck? What the? Caradion just, Caradion just went Super Saiyan. Caradion just went Super Saiyan. Oh my goodness. What is inside that cave? What is inside that cave that Caradion so focused on? <laughs> Whatever that is, Caradion just went Super Saiyan and just walked into the cave. Something tells me... Yeah, well, I mean, I'm stuck down here and I really don't have anywhere else to go. So the only place I can't go is by forward, I guess. Follow it. In Grotto. 
So this is the cave? Huh. Why is that up ahead? Oh, I can only walk. I can't walk past Caradion. Yeah, I can't walk past Caradion. But I do see an item there. Oi, Limit Breaker! Uh. There you are, Limit Breaker! Are you okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you got hurt because they said we should go looking for some, whatever made that cry... No, never mind that. Right now we gotta focus on getting you back up here. You just gotta find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kinda seems like it's waiting for you. Do you wanna follow it? Okay then. Just just casually sl Is it chasing after the two Pokemon that was taunting it? Whoa, that was amazing. That Pokemon might be strong as mine, maybe stronger. I see some random Pokemon here. I'm going I'm going after I'm see some random Pokemon here. I'm going after it. <laughs> okay, a young Okay, it seems like I'm battling a, a young goose. Why not? See if I can get a first try, and if not, I'll give it some damage. Yes, Young Goose was caught. I think I might- I actually might need to level up my Pokemon. Because if I don't... I'm, I'm one of those types of people to, like, level up my starter, and the rest of the Pokemon will follow. But I think I'm actually might have I think I might keep Young Goose on my team. Young Goose, its stomach fills most of its torso. Uh, it wander it wanders the same path every day, searching for fresh food. You want to give Young Goose a nickname? No. And we want to send Young Goose since my party's full. Um, I'll add it to my party. Why not? Um, I'll put. Yep, I'll keep Young Goose on in my party. You can keep six po Pokemon in your party at once. Any other Pokemon can be sent to your Pokemon bo boxes for safekeeping. From the main menu, you can select your boxes to open them up. From there, choose your Pokemon to swap in and out of your current team. Yep. And I see another Pokemon up top. I don't think I can really get it. I can't really aim at it right now. That's a, oh, that is a level 40. Scratch that. That is a level 40. Scratch that. <laughs> I was going to try and face it, but nah. Bigly. Let me get, let me get it. Let me get this first. I see a random Diglett here and I decided. <laughs> like, I've heard there's a Paldea form of Diglett somewhere. But it, it looks very weird. It looks it looks like the same it looks like the same thing, but it's white. Yep. What are, what are these items I keep getting from when I catch Pokemon? Diglett. It lives around. Uh, it lives about one y yard underground, where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Diglett a nickname. Nah. I'll keep it in my boxes. Hey, more information for me, I guess. I do s wait, is that another? Yeah, that's another young goose. I do see another Pokemon here. Oh. Oh. Great. That's end its back. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Caridion screams scared of the way. <laughs> First, before I head over there, though, I did see another, uh... I did see... Hey, heads up, something... Some pretty rough and... Oh. Okay, well... The, the sentences are going by too fast. I can't even read them in time. Okay. Hmm. Again, I cannot go past Coradion, 
So this is the best pace I can do it as. And it slashed through the uh, the wall here. Oh, I thought we weren't moving for a second. Oh my gosh, it's straight up pulverized that rock. How powerful even is it? I want to know what that move was. Man, I want to see it up close. Limit breaker, look out. Something's coming. I swear, these sentences are going by too fast. I can't even see it. Behind you. It's behind you. Isn't that the level 40, um... I think it's called Hound Dog, right? Uh, Hound Doom. Uh, just because of its cried, I think I... I think it's Hound Doom. Yep, I was right. Um... I can't really... Wait a minute. I can't. Um. Um. Huh? Wait. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, we, wait. Did... Wait, where did my Quaxley go? <laughs> where did my Quaxley go? Okay. What's happening now? There's more? It's sending more of its pack. I don't think I, I'm even strong enough to handle it on my own. Whoa! Hey! Up here! Quick! <laughs> that was nice. That was uh, that was an awesome cutscene. That whole battle scene was just amazing. Way to go! For a second, I thought you were both goners. Where's Caradion going now? Oh! Whoa, what's wrong? I think it's tired. Maybe use up all its power? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Slizzard, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I think it might be just hungry. Because when I gave it a sandwich... It might... When, when I gave it the sandwich, it powered up, so you can't tell either. Oh, huh, Limit Breaker. Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. I gotta agree, 100%. You and this fellow look perfectly in sync facing down that hound dude. What? You didn't even tell what it... You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh good, looks like it broke up a little. You think this fellow was the one that making the mysterious cry you heard before? Oh man, oh man, oh man. This Pokemon, the more look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become a trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's well, change the numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Oh, okay, she has her own room too. And here, this will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Is that a TM? Yep, a TM. <laughs> you put the TM-032 in your bag's TM's pocket. Swift. Star shape rays are shot at opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Think before you use it though. TMs can only be used once. Yeah, unfortunately. You've broken through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Bruh. Head to the lighthouse. We can't really see them interact with Gradion other than just try and talk to it, but... Okay, it says the same thing, but... 
Um, all right. Let's just traverse on to the lighthouse. I have a funny feeling that the lighthouse is, uh, well, actually, never mind. I was going to say something, but it wouldn't make sense, so. Oh, Kradion followed us. Why, that little... What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove up. Excuse you? Really? Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're more than the humanities track, right? Aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter what my, who my mom is. The heck? The real issue is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here, and what it, and what is with the this form it's in. Uh, I met at the bottom of a cliff. It saved me from a tight. It saved me from its tight spot. It saved. See, we heard this strange cry, and we tried to investigate, but the limit gauge fell off. A cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's while it's like this. This the, the form Caradion takes in battle. That's its true form. Caradion. Is that the Pokemon's name? How do you know it? Can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember even seeing you around. But given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Caradion isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hop, hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Caradion around? Then how about I test your worthiness? <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm still, bro. I'm still dazed over the fact of that fight. I didn't even know where my qua my uh, Quaxalot, Sir Quaxalot went, but I don't know even if you say so. Huh. Well, look at you, quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all sorts. Feeling out, all oh, out of ah. I've been feeling a lot of sorts, so I'm gonna use this spell to blast these dull drums away. Dull drums? You mean us? Your child, that Pokemon trainer Arvin. These memories are leaving behind a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone. What memories? Oh, you are level five, and you're a. I'm assuming Scrope is a grass type, so I'm. Hmm. Let me use. Let's use its roused into attack and special attack stats up boosted. I'm gonna use Water Gun on it. If it's not effective, then. Ow. Okay. Well, it's not effective. It's a normal type, but. I'm doing a lot of damage because Sir Cracks a lot, it's levels much higher. And I like how Caradion's watching the, the battle in the background. <laughs> I'll try putting in Young Goose sometime. Young Goose, turn here. You defeat Pokemon Trainer Ivan. Seems like you know a thing or two about battle. I do. You got 300 money in prize money. What? <laughs> you got 300 coins, I'm gonna guess. $300 in prize money. I don't know. <laughs> wow, Limit Breaker. That was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever gonna stand a chance using some Pokemon I only just caught. But if you really think you can take Caradion off 
my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Boots has been kept in. For Radeon's Poke... What's... Book Radeon's Pokeball in your bag's key items pocket. Radeon's Pokeball. A Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Caradeon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So why'd you have it? Anyway, that's things your problem now, not mine's. Good luck. What? Oi! Can you not hear me or something? Fine, be that way. But you actually, but but you, ah, I can't even read. What I can't even read the sentences. What a weirdo. Sometimes the sentences go too fast and I cannot control it. And I'm not even pressing the A button to skip it. What a weirdo. So I just get crazy on, off the bat. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna ring him, ring some answers out of him. But, oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. <laughs> well, this second part's already off to an interesting start. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon Sword and Shield where we met Zashi and, and Zamazenta. Although, I played the game on my own time, so... Yeah, kind of sucks. Hold on. Well, before we do that... Yeah, I was just making sure... Just make sure there's any secrets. What? That looks like a castle. Off in the distance, that looks like a castle. Look, Limit Breaker. That's Mes Mesa Goza. That's Mesa Goza. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. That looks like a castle from Pokemon. I was about to say Pokemon. <laughs> um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Why does it remind me of that? It's going to be so great having you in the same class, Limit Breaker. I'm looking forward to it. Right? I can't wait to get back. We're gonna learn so much. And battle so, so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Yep. It is, it is actually. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature. Stuff as far as the eye can see. You know what's waiting for you all over those natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Considering this me officially telling you, welcome to Pal Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyways, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make this- let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on! Head to Los Platos. Alright, time to go down. Oh, and I like how your character's animation goes down. That's actually nice. It's not even as stiff as what it is or what it was back in previous games. Yep. Let's battle. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. Ah, so if I just talk... Oh, okay, that, that's actually... That's actually good, I think. So... If you just talk to the trainers, they'll want to battle you. Which is actually a change, at least for me, because... Well, in previous games, you would have to, like, look... Like, you would have to walk past the vicinity of, like, someone and then they will automatically bow to you without having them move you forward all that much, which was annoying. But...
This is a change. This is a step up. Fletching learned quick attack. He defeated youngster Ellen. The Pokemon are strong, huh? Got $220 in prize money. Huh. Here in Paltata, you can talk to a Pokemon trainer to challenge them. But you can't tell if you want to battle just by making eye contact. That is ax that is actually a change. I, I actually kinda like it. Like that. Um What is it? Oh, that is an electric type. I was a real is an electric an electric type, but let me hold on, let's see. It's an electric type, so I gotta it's not even effective. Um, let's see. How about... Growl, yeah. I was- I had to- I had to recheck myself for a moment to see if, uh, if I was making the right attack. Using Splash, but nothing happened. Um... I'm gonna use Pound for this one. It's not very effective. I'm pretty sure Azreal is... Like, it can turn into an electric type at some point. Am I wrong? I don't know, but... We got at a pretty decent, uh... Pretty decently low health. Yep. Captured it. Pop it, learn, absorb. Let's see. Azurils. Or well, Azurils, I like to call it. Yeah, I've been saying. Uh, Azurils data has been added to the Pokedex. It still bounces like a rubber ball. It flings that tail around to fight opponents bigger than itself. Ah, I see. Well, um, Pokedow Pokemon, uh, it's a normal fairy type. I'm, I am beyond, I am beyond stupid for saying it's a water type, but, oh well. Oh well. Uh, maybe? Oh wait, no. I actually don't want to give it a nickname. Uh, add to your Pokemon. Well, it's a good amount of variety, so let's just get rid of, uh, let's see, Scatterbug, why not? And then we'll catch that Psyduck. I see a Psyduck in the distance, so we're gonna run into this. Psyduck is a psychic type, or somewhere along the effects of water and psychic. I keep forgetting how I can turn my camera around in these battles. Gives me a good view. Um, it's at, yeah, it's at half health. I might knock it down if I actually try and attempt to use Pound again. Alright, Psyduck, caught. I'm also going to add him to my party. Hopefully I can help, hopefully make, hopefully leveling him up a bit. Side duck. Okay, I was right about the water type. It is constantly racked by a headache. When the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. Uh, no, I don't want to give Side duck a nickname. Uh. Uh. Oh my goodness, my hand, my hand is twitching. <laughs> Sorry, like if you get, you can't see it off screen. Uh, you can't see it. Um, but my arm is like twitching for some weird reason. Eh, probably, uh, just a normality for me. Uh, let's see. Who are we gonna get rid of? 
Why not? Fletching. It's a good idea to catch more Pokemon anyway, because, uh... You're gonna be catching a lot. X defense. Which increases the defense in battle. Is that a Psyduck sleeping? Yeah, that's a Psyduck sleeping. Alright, well, let's keep going. Awakening, which can be used to, uh, at the Pokemon that has been hit with sleep moves. We got ourselves a potion. Now, I want to explore. But I can't really go off topic here. We'll just head to... Uh... Let's just head to the, the academy. And we'll call it one. For this video. Uh, oh yeah, this is the one of the new Pokemon that was in the uh, trailer. Before it, this game's release. Uh, Fido. Let's see. Fido's an electric type, so I gotta be careful. Wait, is it an electric type? Critical hit, ow. Alright, that should be low enough. Nice. Nice. So Fido was caught. Tarantula learned struggle bug. Nice. Uh Fido. Is it, it's a fairy type. From the looks of it, it's it looks like electric. Uh oh well. This Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath induces Fermentation to the Pokemon's vicinity. Give Fido a nickname. Uh, hmm. Actually, nah. I kind of want to level up some sort of. I kind of want to level up. Uh, like add some of these Pokemon to my party because I just want to know what they do, but. Oh, I see another, another secret. Psyduck swimming. That's rich. Alright. Let me just get this. Another Pokeball. Nice. And another one. And another one. See? What happens, see what happens when you look around? You cannot miss anything too much. You cannot miss too many things. Mm. Eh, alright. Let's just actually get to the academy, though. Let's actually get to the academy, though. Um. Let's see. Oh, hey, Limit Breaker. Over here. This here is a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon. But I'll leave the explanation to the pros here. Happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemon Academy. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both cash and an LP, League Points, that is. One LP is worth uh, $1. And to my right is a technical machine machine. Technical, okay, that's a... Uh, <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be okay? Is and this to my right is the technical machine machine TM machine for short. It's your ticket to m making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokemon. You also need to pay LP and supply the machine with material that Pokemon drop. Oh, so that's what I've been getting for Pokemon. There are materials to help make TMs. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at the stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. 
We got 5,000 LP from that. Oh yeah, and some of these too. There's a lot of Pokemon materials from, from the Mona. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need help. We will. Thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff and quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Huh? Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out by pressing the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around or go battle with battle on its own or other stuff like that. Let's go. Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon, Alright buddy, let's go. Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will send out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick items it finds in the area. When your Pokemon is low on energy, what which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if you send so if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it up with a potion or some other item. When your Pokemon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. Auto battles will be decided by the strength and types of Pokemon taking part in battles, so keep that in mind when you're, when you're choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. Ah, so strengths and types are key. Got it. As much as I love exploring the place and see if I can find some secrets, um, we do have to head to our destination, which is that tower, which is that tower over there. Um, so, with that being said, let's get to it. By the way, guys, despite all the glitches and bugs in this game, as I made a comment about last video, how do you guys like the game from 1 to 10? For me... I'm not experiencing any glitches so far, although it is the beginning of the game. Um, I kind of want to give it a, uh, not a full, it's not like, hmm, I don't know. I would give it, give it a, a seven, I believe. It's very good, despite every, despite all the Pokemon glitches and bugs I may find. It is very fun. It, I, it is very fun. It is very interesting. Um, it is, um, I, I think, I think well designed. Uh, the only thing that's preventing me, preventing me from making it any higher, is the uh, the bugs and glitches, which are a major issue to this game. Oi, limit breaker. Did you, did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet the Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you've learned in a battle? Sure thing. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Limit Breaker. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Oh, we gotta go that far, huh? We gotta have, we gotta have that far of a distance, huh? You were challenged by Pokemon trainer in Nimona. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm gonna come in with two Pokemon this time. Two Pokemon, huh? Hmm. Super effectiveness. You really work out your type matchups. I can tell how badly you wanna win. Yup. Sir Crocklock's defense has Dropped, but that's fine. That won't do much. Although my defense is a been dropped. Okay. What's 
wind of a wing attack. Uh, sure. Please use a move that to that will place it. Um, work up. Uh, use it goes in an endearing way, making a Pokemon, making opposing Pokemon less wary, less wary. It slows their attack stat. Wait, I've got Growl for that. Why would I need Wing Attack? Oh wait, never. I didn't even wait. Hold on, I was wait. I was really, I was reading Growl instead of Wing Attack. Okay, user, my bad. The target is struck with large imposing wings spread wide to inflict damage. That's much better than Pound. Um, that's much better than Pound, but I'm gonna get rid of Growl. Yep. Osiris wants to learn Bubble Beam. Yes, I think I'll do that. Let's see what Bubble Beam is. The spray of Bubble Blitz is forcefully ejected at the target. This may also lower the target's speed stat. Much better than Water Gun. I, much better than Water Gun, so. Because I'm looking at its damage and what it can do. Um, Paw Me. I don't know much about this. I have not even heard of the name. Even if it was mentioned once, I couldn't remember, so... I'm going to... Use... I don't know. Young Gooseland only has Tackle and Leer. Why would... I can- I probably can use Tarantula. I'm probably gonna use Tarantula. And depending on what the Pokemon looks like, I can most likely try to get its typing. Wow, doing even better than I expected. You're a legit Limit Breaker. Hmm, that- Hmm, Paw Mail, huh? I'm assuming that is a normal type. Use a bow, silk on its mouth, and binds opponents. Pokemon harshly lowers their defense speed stat. Yeah. Struggle bug. I only use a blast. Think about pull out my ace in a hole. I'm sorry? Oh, terrestrialization. I forgot about that. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, what is this ace in the hole? That changed its typing, too. Terrestrialization is always a solid strategy. It gives the moves of a Pokemon stereotype more power. Oh, boy. My goodness, man. That is bad. That is bad. Okay, I am... Good thing I have six Pokemon because I, if it's a Thunder type now, then that's not good. I don't think Sir Quackslot is going to help much here. <sighs> um, okay. Wait, let's see if we can actually string shot this thing before. I don't think we could, but let's see if we can use string shot before it knocks me out. Nah. Critical hit too, even if even if it hit did hit, wouldn't have mattered. Let's try I don't even know. Okay. I'm now I'll use Tail Whip. Okay. Yeah, the, I'm struggling here. That I'm struggling here. Um, yeah, I was not prepared for this. Jeez. 
like I said, I don't level up my other Pokemon. Just my starter mainly, and the rest will follow. Um, okay. At this point, I'm going to keep my uh, Water-type Pokemon last in line, because I know for a fact that this... is going to be bad. I didn't even do much. I didn't even do much. Hopefully I can... Oh wait, no critical. Okay, thank goodness. If that was a critical hit, I would have fought fainted. Well, it wouldn't have mattered because... It would not have even mattered. But... She just keeps using Thundershock repeatedly. <sighs> Alright, well... I'm losing bad, but I do not know what else to do. If I send any of my water types out, it's over. The only other person that I could possibly go for is Young Goose. Effects of the weather disappeared. This is gonna hurt a lot. Yep. Specialization give you a real boost, see, especially if a move that was already super affected. Oh boy, I have no choice but. And its speed is faster than mine, so I have no idea what to do now. I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna lose here. I'm actually gonna lose here. I can't terrestrialize myself, otherwise this would be much, much more fair. It's faster than me. Yeah, I can't do much. It's just using Thundershock over and over. Well, oh no. It's static. But that move hit hard. Uh, I can't afford to let Young Goose faint. Not at least not at this moment. Come on. It's gonna use Thundershock. It's gonna use Thundershock. Yeah, I figured. Okay, but Sir Croxalot survived that. Please tell me I can hit finish Palmy off with Wing Attack. Yes! It wasn't very effective, but it was worth the effort. Oh my goodness, that was. That was. That almost went bad. I somehow won that. I somehow, I almost, I somehow won that. Oh boy. Oh, man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. You got $540 in prize money. Was that worth it? Was that really worth the battle? Amazing! Look at you, taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get that taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forgot how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyways, it was fun battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Oh, I'm gonna need those revives ASAP. I am gonna need those revives ASAP after what I just went through. Now, Mesa goes is waiting just past his gate. At least that's... At least... Ah. At last, the city where our school is. Finally. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff. 
up in this stuff in the city. So I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Uh, huh? What was that? Did I just hear some growling within the game? Was that a Pokemon's cry? Oh, that was just, I think that was just uh, the game music. Reminds me of Pokemon Sword and Shield by the way how this looks. But better. It's more open, you know? It's more of an it's more of an open city than Pokemon Sword and Shield. Alright, here I am. You finally made it, huh? This is Mesa Goza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn advance, about advances in technology. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty foods and fixings. What do you want to see first, Limit Breaker? I'll go for the tasty food, why not? Ha! I didn't ex I didn't have to I didn't have you pegged to a big eater. But that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, I wanna be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Limit Breaker. There's a few things that's gotta be done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile you just have fun you just have fun looking around the city for a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite. Buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you gotta see the Deli Bird presence. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs to up to the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Okay, well, um, we head to the school gates, yeah, but first, we gotta see what we're dealing with here, in terms of, oh, whoops. Battle will catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app, with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you've collected on a digital shelf, and check out what rewards you can earn by pressing the X button. Pressing the plus button when looking at a Pokemon you registered in your Pokedex, you can check what po you can check that Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and where they're active, or when they're active. Explore different areas as you advance and meet tons of Pokemon. Um, all right. So let's see if I click on this, and then this. Oh, it's mostly found in the city. Okay, that's just an example. But so basically, if I if I click on so when I recently caught Pokemon. Oh, I like how it's like needed. So like it shows you the recently caught Pokemon, the recently battled Pokemon. So if I even click this, it will give me the locations of a certain area in the map of the region where they can be found. Okay, but uh, hmm. let's see. Um, what can I do? Um, you can start the camera app by pressing the down button. Yep, down button. Move the camera about freely to snap all snapshots of all kinds of places the Pokemon you see. Taking selfies. When you have the camera app open, press the white Pokemon to flip the camera around and take photos of yourself. Press it again to return the camera to normal. If you want to take fancy or funny photos, try pressing the left button or the right button to change filters. Okay. Uh, I'm not really going to fumble with that. But, uh, I'll save here. Now I was going to now I was going to traverse to the school, but to 
seems like we have a lot more to do. And I think we've already been through enough fighting for today. Uh, with that being said, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you do join, if you do enjoy the content like the one you see here, please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as it does help us a lot. And as always, take care of yourselves, guys. Later.